What was that? Can we open up with flat girls need love too? Sure. Welcome back to Poison Cap. I'm DST. I'm Margo. And uh, continuing on playing him, uh, Jack, uh, Jack and Daxter. So we're gonna be finishing off this area and uh, the, what's it called? Uh, brain fart, Misty Island. Well, Misty Island will be next episode. We're finishing Sandover Village and Sandy Beach. So, or Sentinel Beach, I think that's called. Sentinel Beach, what the fuck? Yeah. Also, as you see right here, the Oracle, he has um, uh, two power power cells within him. So he exchanges, he's a little bit different than the villagers. He requires 120 power cells per, um, uh, or 120 precursor orbs per power cell. So you want to come back here once you have him um, a uh, 240. He so. raises the price because he knows you're a hero. You know what a fucking scam that is, bro? Yeah. Oh, Jesus. And he's like, yeah, we know you're saving the world and all, but um, uh, I ain't giving you a discount. <laughs> I ain't giving you a discount, in fact. Yeah. I'm giving you more. <laughs> I want more. Yeah. So, yeah. Also, I'm, uh... I actually read up on the, um, uh... The Muse guy. Oh, Jesus. So pretty much this guy, he wants you to find his, uh, pet cat. But the cat ran away to, um, uh... Misty Island. I don't know how that happened. I don't know how the cat jumped all the way over to... to <laughs> fucking there. Maybe he that was on the... fly though. Yeah, maybe he was on the boat when we first went to Misty Island, but I don't know, but he wants you to go find him. And, uh, yeah, Sentinel Beach. And fucking, I was actually reading up, because in the Jack 3 guidebook, the Prima guidebook, um, uh, there actually is a where are they now for all the Jack and Daxter characters that you meet on your journey. And, uh, I told you that he fucking turned his cat into a furry. Ugh. Uh, that's actually not the case. <coughs> what? Yeah, that's actually not the case. Um, uh, Apparently, or I mean, we could just read the book. It's on my bookshelf. Uh, but he, the cat, he actually was in love with his cat, the Muse, and he actually married the cat. And but the thing is, is that when he kissed the cat, the cat turned into a genie. What? Yeah. What the? F oh, Jesus! I was gonna say, Emily, play the cat's trailer. Why don't you? <laughs> God, that is so fucking bad. We gave everybody shit for the Sonic movie, and then that comes out. Oh, get it before the seagull gets it, damn it. No. Well, I mean, he's gonna scoop it up anyways, you know? You never know. God, he's right there, damn it. See, fucking, it's part of the cutscene, you fucking, you fucking dip. Jesus. Look how big his mouth is. Yeah. God. Also, am I, as you notice that there's a, a cannon that's shooting stuff at us. Oh, Brandon? Oh, okay. Fuck. Shit. Okay, well. Uh, so pretty much, uh, just go near these metal boxes and they explode in precursor orbs because you cannot break, no matter what, you cannot break um, uh, uh, metal boxes unless you have yellow eco or an explosive. So blue eco won't do anything and red eco won't do anything to these. What are red ecos again? Red eco just um, uh, makes it so, it doubles your damage, pretty much. Wait, that makes no sense then. Wait, yeah, that makes I no know. sense as to why the fuck- okay. Yeah, it's really fucking annoying when you're on Misty Island and you get Red Eco, and there's these blue boxes, and you fucking can't do anything about it. Hey, you have enough to fucking, uh, trade in two for two. Yeah. But we're gonna do that once we're done here. So also, as you see that there are, um, uh, uh, clusters of, um, uh, four, um, uh, orbs, there's a, in total of five clusters. So I'm a 20 in total in the water. And because it's very hard to like uh, press square and dive down because the camera's kind of weird, it's best to just um, uh, activate the blue eco, uh, which call it, the blue eco vents and then come over here and then just uh, get over to them because they get magnetized to you. Just like that. But that means you gotta, you gotta finish. Uh, yeah, you have to go into forest yeah. first. So there's that. Come into here. Or I guess there's four packs of four. But there are um, uh, five precursor orbs under the waterfall, so you want to make sure that you get those. And it's very hard to see in here, so you have to kind of count it off. Two, three, four. Oh, wait, did I get four? Oh, no. I mean, you can recount it. Wow, but, I completely um, uh, missed everything in this game. Jesus. Yeah. Shit, where the fuck am I? I remember getting stuck in here for like five minutes as a kid. <laughs> just being like, well, where the fuck do I go? But yeah, it's easier to just, um, uh, instead of swimming, because swimming is really slow, it's just easier to just jump out the water. 
Oh yeah, also, under here, you want to get these uh, precursor orbs. But I'm also, I'm a, in order to move uh, these pillars, you want to crouch and then press square. And that does an uppercut. But also, if you want to do an uppercut, you can just press square then X. And you'll also, that's a secondary way to do the uppercut. Also, this one, you don't need to do an uppercut on this one, but we'll just do it anyways. Because there are two ways to get up uh, onto the ledge that that grants you access to. But, uh, yeah. Fucking, let's go... Let's actually go, uh, uh, man the cannon first. So, yeah. Get on top of this launcher. And you could launch over to that one right there, or you can just skip over oh like I'm doing right here. And then jump up. And then we're gonna land... And also, my um, landing actually does damage, so as you can see, I'm gonna land on this, uh, lurker right here. Okay, well, that didn't do- I didn't land on it, but if you do land on somebody using the launcher, it actually does damage. Also, if you land in the water right here, you, there's a high chance you'll be fucking eaten up by that shark. Yeah. Which is bullshit. Yeah, if, yeah, if you drop down there, pretty much there's a, a safe- you know how a lot of games have, like, kill walls or, like, invisible walls? This game doesn't have any invisible walls. It has a fucking shark that kills you if you go too far. But yeah, there are um, uh, two uh, things right here. You just wanna. It's very tricky to um, uh, get them right. Nice! Oh, no. Nice! Yeah, there we go. So yeah, and you. Let's see if we can roll jump. No, you're not gonna make it. Oh, so close. Oh, fuck, the shark's gonna get me. God, I rem that sound effect that the shark has. When did it fucking? When it, <laughs> it still freaks me out because it's like a fucking it's a heartbeat, and it really fucking scares me. And yeah, just uh, want to recollect these um, uh, orbs right here, and then right here, and then after that you don't need to fucking come back. You can just uh, go onto um, uh, this which we call it vent right here, and then use the launcher get back all the way up, and then uh, get all the stuff right here so you can activate uh, the... Uh, I don't even know what the fuck to call these things. Here, hit him! Yeah. Hit him! Yeah, so you pretty much you hit him, and then while you're charged with blue eco, you want to make sure that you run all the way over there. Make sure you go... Fuck. You want to you wanna make sure that you're fucking him. Uh, you're fast enough so the yeah. fucking seagull doesn't eat it up again. Yeah. Jesus. So yeah, go right here. And then, yeah. You don't want to use the little windmill thing that's over there. And I'm gonna get it. Because that takes way too long. Also, I think I missed some orbs. Did I miss some orbs right here? Okay, yeah, I missed one. There we go. 333, fucking palindrome. And also repeating number. We're, we're three for three. Get it? Because it's three for three. Yeah. What are you fucking... Are you fucking like Wendy's? <laughs> the fucking the four for four meal? Oh, jeez. Wendy's can fucking suck it, to be honest. Wendy sucks. Uh, anime Wendy's can fucking suck, if you know what I'm saying? Jesus. Suck down the Frosty. Jesus! I hate that so much. <laughs> God, it's so weird how that was a fucking thing. How many cosplayers I followed when who looted up Wendy? It was so weird. Yeah. It's like, I'm not gonna fucking... I, I don't like seeing someone looting up a fucking... A burger mascot. What the hell? That's yeah. like having the Burger King to be in a porno with McDonald's and the fucking the have a three-way with McDonald's guy and the guy from Jack in the Box. <laughs> okay. It's just weird. I just can't see it, and I, I clearly don't want to see it. Yeah, Jack and Jack in the Box is going over to McDonald's. He's like, try my bowls. Try my bowls. <laughs> <laughs> Jack, you can't say that. Yeah. Taste my bowls? No. <laughs> How about Ligma? Oh my god. Fun fact, I didn't know what Ligma was until Ninja was diagnosed with Ligma. Yeah, this motherfucker didn't know what Ligma was. Also, fucking Amma, uh, as you can see, Amma, uh, that little thing that we pushed up, you could use that to jump up here, or we can just, Amma, uh, crouch jump right here. But yeah, fucking, I cannot believe you were fucking... You got diagnosed with Ligma. Like, you fucking got that shit. I didn't know until, what, like a year ago? Whenever Ninja got famous? Not even a year ago, probably, I think it was just, it was just this year. Yeah, that sounds about, I feel like, if anything, it was, like, around New Year's. Or, like, around Christmas time. But I'm, uh, yeah. Also, these seagulls, I'm, uh, pretty much you make them... Uh, fly away and all that stuff, and then if you scare them enough, they unlock Amma Precursor, or 
a fucking power cell. So yeah. It somehow flies out of $1 ass. Yeah. Alright, and then there's precursor orbs on the back of here. You didn't give any precursor orbs to any of the villagers, have you? No, not yet. I want to give, whatchamacallit, the precursor, uh, the oracle, the orbs first before I go for the villagers. But, uh, yeah. That, uh, the fucking avalanche thing is super fucking cryptic. I never would have thought to do about that. Uh, but yeah, as a kid, I was just like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, see, as it activates right now, freaking. I don't know if that's actually possible, if you could scare birds and it causes an avalanche. Then again, I'm, I'm no geologist. I don't know what the fuck, oh, how avalanches work. Oh, to me, I thought it was that you, you tripped, uh, you tripped, you, like, there was a button. You, like, you pressed on something that caused it to happen like that. Oh. I thought that's what it was. I, I never thought it was the birds. It's like the movie The Birds. Except, you know, with rats. Oh, shit! A rat! A motherfucking rat! Oh, shit! What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> it's a this trend on TikTok. Oh. Oh, yeah, explain, explain the bird thing. Oh, so... For some god-awful reason... There was this, uh, there was this TikTok where this guy says, uh, All the birds died in 1986 due to Reagan killing them and replacing them with spies. The birds work for the bourgeoisie. And, like, that became, a, like, a joking trend. Everybody, like, went along with it. Everybody made their own little skits about it and fucking took jabs at it. Up until there are a few people who actually think that this is a real thing and are now paranoid that birds are spies and actually will go out of their way to like make quote-unquote die like dissect or like prove that birds are spies which i think i can't believe this fucking tiktok was the reason why everybody thinks birds are spies i mean technically this guy wasn't the first one to do that apparently in the 80s it was a it was a real thing it was a real like conspiracy God, that's a fucking weird-ass conspiracy theory. But then again, weirder shit has happened in real life. Yeah. Like, do we really believe 9-11 actually happened? Oh my god. I kinda want proof. Jesus I Christ. Mean, Disclaimer, we don't think that it's actually fake. It's a It's joke. a real thing, but goddamn. It's a joke. We have to put this disclaimer because people are gonna get fucking upset. <laughs> Holy shit. But, um, uh, yeah. Anyways, that being said... Uh, fucking, uh, yeah, uh, conspiracy, that's a fun thing. We always c talk about conspiracy theories one way or another. You know what's funny? I met these, these really cool people, and they're now my friends, Jasmine, Jeet, and Lena. So the re so how I met them was, uh, we were, we all were at a museum for one of our field trips, and we all, like, gathered... Because we were we were all going to leave for because uh, class is almost over, and I just like this really cute girl Lena, like I really wanted to like talk to her and just you know try to make small talk. So I remember this conspiracy my friend said where I don't believe that airplanes actually exist, and like I can't really believe something that big, metal and massive carrying what hundreds of people. It will be able to like fly over the fucking world from state to state to country to country to be honest i believe it it was just something to uh it was just something to to make small talk and it worked and i'm still friends with them to this day god what a weird fucking conversation starter just hopping off like not only is this just like a conversation starter but you're doing it with like strangers so you're risking the thought of them thinking that you're really fucking weird because you're starting out the conversation with the conspiracy theory. Which is funny because, like, it turns out they were also weirder than me. For one thing, uh, for one thing, Lena would love the idea of the purge to actually ha the purge to actually happen. If you guys don't know what the purge is, I don't know how you guys don't. It's a fucking, it's a fictional movie where one night a year, uh. All crimes, including murder, is legal for 12 hours to, for apparently for Americans to express their anger and such. And she was like, oh, you know, I would love to do that. I think I would survive. And I say, wow, I would rather kill myself because 
fuck that shit. Yeah, and it's like, those movies are not good at all, but the thing is the concept is good, and it sucks because it's just- the concept is really good, but it's just the fucking execution was fucking wasted. Like, it's really smart that, like, you can't kill, like, politicians and how it's, like, a message against, like, you know, like, fucking the 1% who could, like, buy their way to immunity to that. It's, like, really cool conceptually, but it's, like, fucking hell. Why- why do those movies have to suck? I don't understand why those, like... I don't know why, it's just, it, it, to me, when I first heard about that concept, it was kind of like nightmare fuel. I would not want to be part of that. I would not want to be part of a town where once a year for 12 hours, like, all that shit is legal. That being said, why is it in all these movies, murder is like the number one priority? Are you telling me that every single person is going to go out of their way to murder someone? I can see if someone or like, like if or like assuming everybody in the world has somebody that they want to murder. Like I I understand that people have beef. To be honest, I could see a lot of people fighting, but not so much as killing each other. Yeah. I think it's so weird. Like to me, I don't want to fucking kill anyone. I don't even want to fucking fight anyone. I go out of my way and steal shit. Go to fucking Best Buy, Target, Barnes and Noble. You know, get all the get all the shit that you need. Safeway, oh my god, Safeway. Yeah. Or if anything, the bank. Yeah, that too, I guess. What are they gonna do? Fucking arrest you? For what? What are they gonna fucking do? Arrest you? Twelve hours? Fucking. Actually, now I think about it, the purge might be a pretty good idea. We should probably invest in that. Oh my god. <laughs> like honestly, realistically, if the purge were to happen, I don't think people would be doing stuff besides stealing. <laughs> I feel like stealing is the most, like, prioritizing. The only, the only other place I could think of that has, that would be like a killing spree would be LA. Yeah. With fucking Crips and Blood and shit like that. With like, actual gangs. That makes sense. Yeah. Well, I don't know what I would, what I'd be doing at the fucking, at the fucking purge. What? I'd be fucking, I'd be over at the, you know, my number one place, the 7-Eleven. And I put my mouth under the fucking slushy nozzle and just have a fucking day. Just wow, like fucking... that, that sounds like a headache, to be completely honest. Oh, God. Ah, oh, Jesus. Oh, what the fuck? Okay. <laughs> uh, speaking of headache, uh, I thought it was a good idea to drink before this recording session, so I'm a uh, fucking... I had a bottle of um, a Smirnoff citrus. I don't know what the fuck that is. I think it's vodka. It tasted like absolute shit, but I'm um, a uh, fucking... It, it was vodka, and I... Uh, it was like citrus flavored, and I was just like, oh, it might... It, might as well, you'd think it would taste, or someone who doesn't drink might think it just tastes like lemonade. I fucking slurped it down and I almost fucking vomited. Did and I'm just not like, put it in any other drink? No! Aw, oh, DST! Fucking, the thing is, I I had ravioli, so I was just what thinking, I I would like slurp down the, um, uh, the, the, the shot and then eat ravioli to mask the taste, but then That's I ate all, but then I ate all the ravioli and I'm just like, oh fuck, I was supposed to use this, because <laughs> I was too hungry, but I'm, uh, fucking, where's, okay. So. You need to either, you either need to mix that in a drink or have a chaser. Yeah. Hurry up with those What's a chaser again? I'm chaser is just, like, like soda or something to, like, chase down the... Oh, oh, like to wash it down. Wash it down. Well, that's what I wanted to use the ravioli for. Because it was Why like... Why food? It's supposed to be a fucking... Because the ravioli had a strong taste. It was very meaty and cheesy. And what's a stronger taste than meat and cheese? Let's be real. Can I try this? Uh, sure. Uh, yeah. Let's ha Let's give you a little runaround, so... What is this controller? Oh yeah, I'm gonna I, break. I, this I totally, controller, I totally I forgot to. I'm a, I was gonna say, I was gonna explain this on the show before I started recording. So pretty much, we're playing. I'm a Emmy. Uh, throw up a picture on screen. We're playing with a, a rock candy controller, and the thing is, rock candy is like their controllers are really good, but they're made out of a uh, polycarbonate, so they're very, they're uh, transparent plastic. So that means they're very cheap and they're very fragile. And the thing is that they work well. I mean, I like them more than um, uh, most third-party controllers, but motherfucking um, uh, motherfucking uh, Toys R Us back when Toys R Us was uh, just just closing down, they had them for 50% uh, off. 
and these things were originally 12 bucks, so I cleaned out their entire stock, which was only like five controllers. So I'm, uh, yeah, they're doing pretty, pretty good. I, I, I'd say the only thing that sucks about them is that they don't have rumble. Even though the, if you look you at the mother. controllers, if you look at the controllers, they actually do have spots from uh, rumble packs, but they just don't have them. So, ah, fuck you, bro. So yeah, right now we're just trying to get the Muse. It's very hard to um, uh, to get because it's very fast. Fucking okay, I was playing this yesterday, and um, uh, right when you, because you know how the Muse doesn't activate until you like get close to it. Yeah. I rolled into it and I used that momentum and I just rolled into it and I instantly got him. <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck? This usually takes me like five minutes to do, and it took me less than thirty seconds. Oh, this is probably gonna take me five minutes then. Yeah. Or even longer. Get the fuck back over here, you little shit. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll you know what? We'll end the episode once you get once you get the muse. So. Oh uh, my god! Get the oh fuck my god. over here. Punch, punch so you could get the you know the speed boost. You know. I don't want to fucking punch it. I just want to grab it. Who cares? Oh, fucking. You cunt. Yeah. Go, oh, you fucking. Go get this fucking Fennec Fox looking motherfucker. There oh you my go. god. Jesus. Wow. Okay. That took a lot less time than I thought it would be. How I hold my cats. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so I'm, uh... Yeah, that'll be it for um, uh, this episode. Next episode, we're gonna be finishing up this area and uh, Sandover Village, so... Woo! Yeah. I'm DST. I'm Margo. And until next time, uh, stay gold, my dudes.